For this problem, we're going to solve for x in the inequality 13x over x squared minus 36 is less than or equal to x. First, we want to get the right side equal to 0. So we're going to subtract x from both sides so that we have 13x over x squared minus 36 minus x is less than or equal to 0. Next, we want to subtract the numbers on the left side using a common denominator of x squared minus 36. Simplifying the left side gets us negative x cubed plus 49x over x squared minus 36 is less than or equal to 0. We can also factor out a negative x so that we have negative x times x squared minus 49 over x squared minus 36, which is less than or equal to 0. Now we can find the values of x that make the left side of the inequality equal to 0 using the equations negative x equals 0 or x squared minus 49 equals 0. Solving the first equation, we get x equals 0, and solving the second equation, we get x equals 7 or negative 7. We can also find the values of x that make the inequality undefined using the equation x squared minus 36 equals 0. Solving this equation, we get x equals 6 or negative 6. Now we're going to use this number line to find the values of x that make the inequality a true statement. We're going to do this by plugging in values of x from each region. For x equals negative 8, we have 30 sevenths. Since this number is positive, this means that x values less than negative 7 will make the left side of the inequality positive. For x equals negative 6 and a half, we have negative 702 over 100. Since this number is negative, this means that x values between negative 6 and negative 7 will make the left side of the inequality negative. For x equals negative 1, we have 48 30 fifths. Since this number is positive, this means that x values between 0 and negative 6 will make the left side of the inequality positive. For x equals 1, we have negative 48 30 fifths. Since this number is negative, this means that x values between 0 and 6 will make the left side of the inequality negative. For x equals 6 and a half, we have 49.92. Since this number is positive, this means that x values between 6 and 7 will make the left side of the inequality positive. For x equals 8, we have negative 30 sevenths. Since this number is negative, this means that x values greater than 7 will make the left side of the inequality negative. To make the inequality a true statement, the left side must be less than or equal to 0. This means that x must be between negative 7 and negative 6, between 0 and 6, and greater than 7. So x ranges from negative 7 inclusive to negative 6 exclusive, or 0 inclusive to 6 exclusive, or 7 inclusive to infinity exclusive. And this is the final answer.